Welcome back to Frog Detective 2. At the end of the last episode, we got given a party hat. So now let's give that to Carlos. Carlos, I have something for you. No way. It's a party hat. No way. Yes way. That's epic. That's honestly the most epic thing I've heard all day. Thanks, detective. Not a problem. Incorrect. It was a problem. And you solved it. Just like a true detective. Aw, oh, thanks. You've made a fan out of me. Here, let me pay you for your work. Oh, no, that's okay. Detective, I insist you take payment. One money should do it. Thanks. Oh, I also found this rug out back. Not sure what use it is, but I figure you're good at solving these types of puzzles. I'll find a use for it. Thanks. Best of luck solving the mystery, detective. Three monies. Oh, the money has pictures of frogs on it, I just realized. I never looked at it very closely. Oh no, I don't have a hat either. I could probably borrow one, it's fine. Am I even invited to the parade? I hope so. Uh, yeah, look at the money. Well, pictures of frogs on it. Do you think all money just has pictures of frogs on it? Or do you think everybody gets their own type of money with their own picture on it? Somebody wanted a rug, but I don't remember who. Let's check people's needs. Mary needs five money. Naughty. Naughty needs a rug. Oh, right. To cover up, like, the mess, I think? Great news. What is it? I found you a rug. What? Holy guacamole. This is great news. Thanks for tracking it down. This should do the trick. Wow, looks just like new. Hopefully the band won't notice the mess. I don't think they will. They're in a fish tank anyway. Why? One guess. They're fish? Bingo! Wait, do you mean to tell me you got the most famous band of all time? The Market Buddies? Yep. They're on their way. Wow, I saw them live once and I was blown away. I can't wait. I'm excited too. Can't wait for the parade to begin. I better get back to work so I can solve the mystery before the parade starts. Uh, before you go, I should give you something in return. Oh. I have some building supplies left over from when I made the stage. Is that enough? Uh, sure. Thank you. Plus, one money. Oh, no, that's okay. It was simply a favor. Don't be silly. You worked hard to get me this rug. I insist. Wow. Thanks. We just need one more money. Long snoot. True. Very true. Hi, Ralph. Hello, small frog. I managed to track down some building supplies. Oh, great. What exciting news. I'd love to use them if you're okay to hand them over. Of course.
Excellent. Thank you so much. Of course, I must pay you for this. Oh, there's no need, really. Shh, I won't hear it. Please take a money. Thank you. Also, I think you've earned yourself the title of Honorary Pirate. Wow. Really? Me a pirate? Yes. You have the treasure collecting skills of the finest pirates. For this, I must award you a special prize. Here, take this hook. Wow. What do I do with this? You can use it on your hand if you want. Or you can use it for something else. I'm not your dad. Not yet. Sorry, I don't really know why I said that. All good. Enjoy the hook. I'm back. You're back. Yep. I found you a hook. Oh my stars. Thank you. I can fix my sign right away. That's okay. I would like to repay you for this hook. No, that's okay. I got it for free. Nothing is free in this world. <laughs> Just kidding, our society is really progressive and often things are actually free. As a sign of my gratitude, please feel free to use my house whenever you need. It's fairly simple, but beautifully decorated at least. I have a phone too. Great. I'll be sure to use it at some point. Thanks, Susan. use it should I use it now or should I give the money to Mary let's let's use it now it is beautifully decorated Who should I call? Oh, right! This is the phone that I can use the number on when I get it from Mary. They're going to give me a number. I don't have any friends to call. That's so sad. Hi, Mary. Hey, detective. How's the extortion going? I think I've got your five money. Whoa, for real? I didn't think the extortion would work so quickly. That's excellent news. I'm really good at being extorted. I'll say. Anyway, do you have the information for me? Totally. Last night, I saw the postman drop off a parcel. It was around the time the parade got destroyed. I couldn't see who he was giving it to, but it was someone here in the town. Barney's the postman's name. He's a chill dude. I don't think he'd mind if you called him up. I have his number. May I have it? Absolutely. Thanks for giving me this money. I'm really excited to visit Froggywood. I'm excited for you. Obviously, I have to wait until the parade is over. Of course. See you around, detective.
Hi, it's Barney. I have you on speaker. Hi, Barney. Hi. Uh, who am I talking to? Hmm, Lobster Cop. Wow, really? Uh, no, I was tricking you. Rats. Who is this? Noodle? I'm the detective. I'm calling about an incident that happened last night at Warlock Woods. I didn't do it. Do what? Whatever you're calling about wasn't me. Are you sure? What did I do? Last night someone destroyed a parade which was being set up for the new resident of the town, the Invisible Wizard. I was told you were in the area when it happened. Oh yeah, I was there. Didn't destroy anything, if that's what you're asking. I was just delivering a parcel. Who were you delivering it to? Uh, hmm. What was her name? Oh, Lola. Huh, I don't think there's anyone in the town called Lola. Yeah, it must have been someone who lives there. The address was on the parcel. Though I can't remember exactly which house it was. Sorry. Hmm. Do you remember where the parcel was sent from? Oh, yeah. I deliver a lot of parcels from them. It was from the Wiz Wizbay.net headquarters. That sounds really familiar. Where have I heard that name before? Uh, I know Mandy buys a lot of stuff from there. But this wasn't for her. Do you know what was in the package? Some sort of shoe, I think. Maybe two? A pair of shoes. Did you get a good look at them? It was pretty dark. I have no recollection of something. I've accidentally skipped it. Not even a face. Huh. Weird. Warlock Woods is pretty dark, but I haven't had much trouble seeing anyone before. Me neither. It wasn't much more dark than normal either. All I remember is a blue dress with stars on it. I'm pretty stumped on this case, Barney. Do you know if there were any clues left behind? A signature on the delivery slip or something? Uh... I didn't get them to sign it. But I remember something dropping over at the entrance to the woods. I tried to call out and tell them, but they'd stumbled off before I noticed. At the entrance to the woods, you say? I'll check it out. Motive, accidentally crashed his van into the decorations, drove away without realizing? Cool guy, didn't see who he was delivering to. Lola, responsible driver, had me on speaker. Should search near the entrance to Warlock Woods. Hmm, this is a big heckin' mystery. Couldn't see them mysteriously, almost as if they were invisible. They had on, like, a blue dress with stars on it. Hmm. Blue dress with stars on it. This must be the thing Barney was talking about. Hmm, they're glasses. Oh, they have a name engraved on the arm. The Invisible Wizard. Well, this is my only clue left. I think I should try and return these to the wizard. She should be in the old house near Carlos's shop. Hello, is anyone home? I found these glasses. Wow, this feels a lot bigger on the inside than it did from the outside. Why are there so many pies?
Hmm. Look at the happy little bug. Another happy bug. Somehow I was like walking up on something. What did I walk up on? Oh yeah. Who's there? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to startle you. I'm the detective. Oh, thank goodness. You're here to solve the mystery. Yes. Okay. Well, I don't know where my glasses are. So solve that as soon as possible, please. Thanks in advance. I found your glasses, I think. Are these yours? Oh, I can see again. That was so quick. You should get a promotion. I don't remember calling a detective to solve this mystery, but I must have done. Otherwise, why would you be here, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, no. I'm actually here to solve a different mystery. Which one? I don't mean to ruin the surprise, but the town was setting up a parade for you. I'm sorry to tell you that last night... Someone destroyed it. I've been trying to figure out why. However, I've noticed that your house is littered with the decorations. Where were you last night? I was on Whiz Bay. I got some new shoes. I picked express delivery. They arrived last night. Oh, you're Lola. Yes. Back to my alibi. I went to pick up my shoes from the delivery guy. And then I dropped my glasses. Oh. And that's all I have to say about that. Are you sure? Yeah. I think someone else must have destroyed the parade. Perhaps one of my enemies. You have enemies? Um, yeah. Who? The guy. Evil guy. Sorry, what? Enemy. Uh, evil guy. My enemy. Evil guy? Yeah. Are you making this up? No, evil dude is really my enemy. Don't you mean evil guy? Evil guy. Your enemy. Yes. Where can I contact evil guy? Oh, he's not able to be contacted. He's very mysterious and is not available right now. Or ever, even. Anyway, he must have destroyed the parade. Case solved. We did it. Well done. Wow. Too bad he's not able to be apprehended, but at least we can continue with our lives. Lola, are you being dishonest? Yes. I'm really sorry. It was me. It was an accident, I swear. You destroyed the parade, didn't you? I didn't know the parade was for me. That's so nice. And I ruined it. 
When I dropped my glasses, I couldn't find my way home. I was bumping into everything. What happened when you got home? I had some chips stuck to me, so I ate those. And then I just hid. Why didn't you tell anyone what happened? I'm so embarrassed about it. I only just moved in and already I've made a big mistake. I'm a very shy lady, Detective. I make myself invisible so nobody can see me. That must have been why nobody saw you last night. Yes, I suppose. Can you become not invisible? Uh, uninvisible? Visible? If you insist. Ta-da! You're a frog like me. Yes. I'm slightly disappointed. What? Well, it's just that I had a good joke prepared. I'll do it anyway. Okay, so imagine that instead of a frog, you're revealed to be a lizard. Oh no. Okay, so, you've just been revealed, okay? Pretend. Uh, okay. It's me, a lizard. Wow, so you're not an invisible wizard after all. You're an invisible lizard. Yeah, it was a good joke. I thought so. Detective, are you going to tell everyone? Hmm. I'm brand new and it was a mistake. I'm worried that if you tell everyone what I did, they'll be upset. I think they'd forgive you right away. But what if they don't? I want to make a good first impression. When we go outside, can you please tell them that it was evil guy? But that's a fib. A white lie, perhaps. But who's it harming, really? Evil guy. Evil guy isn't real. This is a moral dilemma, Lola. Just like in my favorite episode of... I have no idea how to pronounce that. That's a riff, I think, on Detective po Poirot. Po Poirot. So, it's hard to pronounce, but this is not even that name. It's a riff on it, so I have n extra no idea how it'd be pronounced. It's your choice, Detective. Let's face the music. Lost her glasses. Totally did the crime. No real motive, but still a culprit. Shy lady. A frog. Just moved in. Made a big mistake. Lied about having a nemesis called Evil Guy. Wants me to tell a town it was Evil Guy. Hello. Hi. My name is Lola. Hi, Lola. I'm a frog. Just like me. We're so glad you can make it, Lola. I'm sorry that there's been so much commotion trying to get the parade ready for you. Somebody destroyed it last night. Mary, don't tell her that. We're sorry that someone destroyed it, Lola. The detective has been trying to figure out who did it. Well, Detective, have you solved the mystery? I hope it wasn't me. I'd be surprised if it was any of us. I wouldn't. Looking at you, Ralph. What? Ralph didn't do it, Victor. How many times do we have to tell you? I just don't trust that guy. Rude. I'm not rude anymore, Ralph. I had food. I don't think that's how it works. I didn't do it. Well, I guess we'll find out in a moment. Go ahead, detective. Ah, moral dilemma. Everybody's gonna forgive, Lola. It's fine. Well, I solved the mystery. Who was it? It was... Lola. What? It was an accident. Lola dropped her glasses last night while picking up some shoes she bought on Wizbay. Oh my gosh, those are the ones I really wanted. They look amazing. 
Lola can't see without her glasses, so she had a lot of trouble getting home last night. She bumped into just about everything. I'm so sorry, I feel awful. I realized what had happened when I had lots of chips stuck to me. I ate them. They were delicious. The parade was for me all along and I didn't realize. Lola was very scared of your reactions, so she hid in her house out of shame. Oh, Lola, it's okay. You should have told us. We completely understand. Yeah, Mary destroys stuff all the time. Yeah, I really do. Plus, Nadi tried to vacuum you up, so I feel like the parade being destroyed is kind of fine. I thought she was a ghost. That's what they all say. We're all really excited you're here, Lola. We don't need decorations, anyway. I really thought Ralph did it. Victor. Victor, apologize to Ralph. Ralph, I'm sorry I accused you. It's okay. I'm also sorry. I really didn't mean to destroy the parade, but I should have spoken up when I did. I'm a very nervous lady. Plus, what a terrible first impression. Not as bad as my first impression. What did you do? I ran over Mary by accident. <laughs> yeah. That was really painful. Should we get this party started? What do you think, Lola? Yes, please. New memories. Frog Detective Crime Solving Agency. Frog Detective speaking. How may I solve your mystery? Detective. Supervisor. It's me, the supervisor. I'm aware. Great job on solving the Invisible Wizard mystery. I was quite a head scratcher. Sure was. I was shocked that the culprit was the wizard herself. Yeah, the mysteries I solve are never what they seem. It's always a misunderstanding or an accident. Nobody is ever malicious on purpose in my mysteries. I'm so glad that crime isn't real. Didn't you get extorted earlier? Yes. I think that's a crime. I suppose that crime is real after all. Your office is called Frog Detective Crime Solving Agency. Yes. Detective, why do you believe that crime isn't real? I, I was simply exaggerating. Plus, despite my job title, I never really seem to be solving crimes. That's going to change in a moment, I think, Detective. Oh, super duper. I just got a call about a doozy of a case, Detective. That sounds exciting. It is, but it's also the most challenging case I've ever sent you on. 
I'm confident in your abilities, but you might need backup on this one. Oh, like who? I'm going to send Lobster Cop to help you with the case. Really? Lobster Cop handles such advanced cases, won't I just slow him down? Nonsense, Detective. You've shown you're a very capable mystery solver. I think you're in the running to be the new number one. <laughs> you're making me blush. You'll be A-OK. -okay. So where am I headed next? I can't say over the phone, it's too sensitive. Wow. Head to the train station. I've left a ticket for you there. The train will take you to where you need to be. Good luck, detective. Do you think you can handle it? I can handle anything. Let's finish with some thoughts on Frog Detective 2, The Case of the Invisible Wizard. I loved it. It was so refreshing to play such a short and charming and kind, spirited game. It's so nice in every way. It's, it's funny and it's just incredibly pleasant. Everybody's nice, and if they're not nice, it's only in like the slightest rude way, and then they apologize immediately after and everything's fine. The chill jazz music always going in the background is wonderful. The fact that I can stare at things through my magnifying glass, which warps everything oddly, even though that doesn't serve any practical purpose, is still lovely. Yeah, I just really enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. <laughs>